The best vegetarian meal I've had this year is in um, Murano in London's Mayfair. That's Angela Hartnett, who's a uh, prodigy of Gordon Ramsay. That's a Michelin-style restaurant which has the most divine vegetarian food I've had. I'm at my normal body weight of 70 kilos, which I'm hoping to maintain it over the next few weeks. One of my fellow travellers isn't too much into vegetarian cuisine, isn't too much into wine. He prefers meat and beer. So we shall have to work with that. Just approaching out of Mongolia, still in China, just having my cheese and wine moment. Cheese. Let me just clarify this. Cheese stick tasty. Mm. And a bit of uh, rouge, great wall, red wine. Gentle on the nose, easy on the palate, and slips down the throat rather well. The landscape um, has been magnificently changing. From mountains on the outskirts of Beijing to industrial areas further out, animal areas beyond that, and now we've got wide expanse of flat wind farm areas outside as the sun's beginning to set. So um, I thought I'd just mention about where the vegetarianism came from. My father's a Hindu, uh, and there's probably been a one single moment which changed me from being an aquatarian to a vegetarian. It was in 1979. I was visiting Cochin in South India with my family. And we had the misfortune to come across a dried fish market. The fish market was, was grotesquely, overpoweringly pungent. It resonated right to my core through my nose and right and just right through me and uh, so strong I can see the scene but perhaps my head's blocked out the smell of it because um, I can't remember the smell anymore but the scene is there and it's very fixed in my mind and, and I'm absolutely certain that you know, no fish has been eaten by myself since then. For the first time in public I will admit to when I was very young, going to children's uh, birthday parties and having the odd sausage on a stick and smelling my grandfather's bacon that he cooked, and I did quite enjoy it. But that disappeared very quickly, and I'm not sure, there was no precipitating, defining moment for that. And when it comes to meat, I don't know anymore, I don't know. Just like the other day, it was a texture of something quite different to vegetarianism which was quite off-putting. It wasn't the thought of it, it wasn't the taste of it, uh, it wasn't the look of it. The texture was, it was quite, um, quite odd and um, quite unacceptable. Jenna, lovely to meet you. Um, we're just heading into Ulaanbaatar and um, it was fascinating to talk to you yesterday about your veganism. I, it's pretty tricky. <laughs> I think being a strict vegan would be, would be quite a hard thing to manage, so I, it involves being flexible, which because of my reasons for being a vegan is, is manageable. Um, so could you tell us those reasons for Yeah, why I mean it's principally... It's partly a health thing, but it's principally a, an environmental and a mass industry meat thing. So it's to do with how animals are often treated, how they're raised, what they're fed, um, and then also to do with space and space that is given over to the mass industry, meat industry that could be used to feed human beings instead through through crops, through plants that go to them or that is replaced by them on the land. And you said you were 
not such a strict vegan. Can you just tell us how that affects your eating on this trip? Yeah, so I'm not strict, partly because sometimes I think it's culturally inappropriate to, to be that limiting in what I'm able to say yes to. I think there will be times when it would just feel really crossing cultural boundaries or just simply impolite to say I'm not eating that. Um, so, or when there are communication problems in China, my, my Mandarin is non-existent, so trying to always trying to communicate the fact that I'm a vegetarian and that means no meat, no oyster sauce, no this, no that, is just a pretty impossible task. So it's a case of having to accept that sometimes what might even appear vegan isn't necessarily um, and being, being okay with that. And uh, tell me, um, yesterday we had a meal on the train which had rice and some meat and some veggies and I treat that quite differently and I've already talked about that. Tell me how you treated that meal. Yeah, so in, in my mind, the, the food that was prepared was counted out for the customers on the train. Um, if I had been preparing the food, I would not have put the meat in, there would have been no meat stock, there would have been none of that. But the way I saw it was, um, if the food's already been prepared, there's nothing I can do to, to reverse that cycle. So to, I don't have any issues really with picking the, veg, the vegetables out and leaving the meat aside um, because I'm not, that meat's there whether I eat it or not. So I'm happy to just eat around it. Wouldn't be, it's not my ideal, but I'm, I can do that. We're off to a girl. This afternoon we're getting off the train and going there and then we're back in Ulaanbaatar tomorrow and I shall be, I'm the food guide for the trip, yeah. which is quite bizarre, we might well bump into each but other I'll, be, the I'll be taking restaurant. everybody to Hazir, you know, the veggie Indian yeah. tomorrow night, yeah. okay. so um, if you're there then um, well, maybe, maybe we'll if you're around by, it'll yeah. be uh, good to see you, okay. but, um, yeah. and um, I'm just trying to think if I've isolated any, so there's another place called Luna Blanca, yeah, oh, that's the one that I've read yeah. about, okay, so, but there's an Indian yeah. as well. Yeah, so um, those are the two yeah. options that I'm aware of, yeah. um, and UV, so they yeah. are apparently cool. Have, um, you, have you had a favourite veggie thing that you've eaten while you've been in China? A favourite? Yes, yeah, so, uh, we went to this beautiful restaurant in Beijing where they made this really spicy thing with textured vegetable protein. Do you eat yeah. soya and... Yeah, yeah. I mean, the guy, our, our host is calling it TVP, I've never known about that abbreviation, but it's, it's but, um, scary. You have, yeah, it takes special protein, and, um, and it was really spicy and chilly and tasty, it was beautiful. Yes, yeah, like um, spice. It's and, um, you yeah, know, compared to the artificial meat stuff, then, yeah. that was really yeah. uh, a bit of a highlight. Yeah, yeah. that sounds good. Okay. See you guys. Yeah, Maybe see you later. See you. We'll see you at the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, great. Right, take care. Yeah. Bye. <laughs>